everybody. We've been here at this beautiful state park doing the campground host gig for seven days. And I'm pretty much acclimated to what I need to do. So I thought it'd be fun bringing you guys along with me today for a little tour of the state park, as well as showing you my camp host duties. And what we're gonna do is get into this awesome little golf cart that they actually provide for you. It plugs into this little charger. And I'll walk over here and show you where that is. But right up here is this little box. And the first day we pulled in, I was wondering if maybe it was like, I don't know, for birds or something. But this is a charger and it just plugs right into the little golf cart and I can get a good full day of normal use on this. But anyway, why don't we go ahead and hop into the golf cart and let's get this little video started as I bring all of you along with me for a day of what it's like to be a camp host. So the first thing I do in the mornings is right after I leave out of my loop, which is right there's the entrance, and right over there is where we live, I will come over here and just check the dumpsters, pick up any trash, and then the other thing I do is I will check the poop bags, and I will also check the recycle bins, because the great thing about this job is every morning I get to drive three miles up that road to the ranger station to pick up the incoming and outgoing lists for the day because I need that so I know which sites are leaving so I can clean them once they're gone. And I'm going to take you guys along for the drive. It's beautiful and hopefully we'll see some wildlife and everything. But halfway up that drive is the ranger commune area where a lot of the rangers live and that's where the special dumpster for all of the recycled materials is located so it's easy for me to do this in the mornings because to save myself a trip later in the day i can just drop off these recycled uh, trash bags on my way up to the ranger station so i'm going to take care of that and we'll get in the uh, golf cart and head on up to get the paperwork Hey guys, our first deer sighting. You can see him right behind the bushes. You know what's funny is that they'll be right on the side of the road, but you don't really see them until you come right up on them because they just kind of blend in. All right, so let's see if we can get a little closer. But we might spook them. Oh, yep, see. And I actually remember this one from the other day because he likes to make these huffing noises. Almost kind of like he's being playful. I don't know, it's funny. But yeah, you can see him now, he's right there. Oh, there he goes. All right, well, let's get back into the golf cart and continue our drive up to the ranger station.
Okay guys, so I just picked up the paperwork and now we're gonna take this beautiful little drive back down. All right guys, so we made it back to my loop and I just looked over the incoming and outgoing list and it's pretty much a round number. We have five people leaving today and we have five people coming into the park. Okay, so let's see here. So 29 is the first site and this was actually uh, just somebody in a car with a tent and then basically all I do is walk around I will check the fire pit and make sure that there is no cleaning that needs to be done and you can see that they didn't even use the fire pit And the other thing I'll do is just walk around and check for trash because sometimes people will forget to clean up a little bit. So far, everybody's been really good. Now, I'm seeing something shiny over here. Okay, this person had a tent and they forgot one of their tent stakes, as you can see here. So I've got some little receptacles right here in the back. And that is just going to go right in the trash. And then I'll just go up and down, make sure there's no trash, cigarette butts. And right back there, you can see me peeking through. Now the other thing I do is I check the receptacle and make sure that the breakers are turned off because you don't want them accidentally getting any type of power surge. So far, guys, the day's going good. The site required no cleaning and straightening up at all. So now on my little list, I am going to mark off site 29. And now we are gonna go to site 28, and I already know they're still here. And then we have site 11, site number 10, and site number one. And then the other thing, once I'm done with all the sites, I will use my little walkie-talkie right here and I will report into the ranger station and let them know that all sites have been cleaned and cleared. All right guys, on to the next campsite. Morning. All right, guys, we made it to site number eleven, and they are already gone. Okay, breakers are turned off, so that's good. Everything is looking good so far with the campsite. I'm not seeing any trash. Oh, uh, sometimes I might have to move the picnic table back out of the way. Okay, and now we're coming over to the fire pit. And as you guys can see, the fire pit is empty. Well, this is it for the campsite checks because the other three people I know for a fact are still here. So we're going to go ahead and go over to the bathrooms and get those wiped down and sanitized and clean for the people coming in later today at 3 o'clock. Here is the restrooms and this is pretty much the main thing that I have to keep cleaned and tidy for all of the camp guests. I'm just gonna take you on a little walk around here and show you the sides. So in the back here is the outdoor kitchen sink. And this sink was so friggin' dirty, but look how wide it is now. But I pretty much have to clean this every day and 
the reason why it gets kind of dirty, it gets covered like in gnats and kind of like moths and bugs because right there is a light and it stays on all the time. So at nighttime, this light attracts just all of these bugs. So usually what I'll do is I'll just spray it down with a little bleach, disinfect it, wipe it down really good. That'll usually take me about maybe 10 minutes to clean it out really, really good. But that's for the tent campers to like wash their dishes and stuff like that. And then right over here is the laundry room. And basically I just need to, you know, maybe once a week, wipe down the washer and dryer, you know, get, you know, make sure that it uh, is clear of like dust. And then right over here, you can see there's like two uh, laundry folding tables and I spray those down like every other day and disinfect them with a really nice smelling deodorizer. And then basically, you know, up there, kind of in the corners and stuff, uh, they were covered in cobwebs. So I took a broom and I pretty much just went up in there and cleaned out all the edges and all that stuff. There was kind of like all kinds of dirt and cobwebs and old um, dirt from like, you know, the mud doppers and all that, but they're everywhere here, the mud doppers. Uh, the other place they were at was right up there in those corners. And you could see right there where I took a broomstick and I cleared them all out. So I cleaned all that out uh, last week when I first arrived. So anyway, that is pretty much what I have to do outside and it's not hard at all. And then I wipe down the water fountain every day and that's pretty easy to do. Uh, but then right here is my little supply closet and that's where everything's located for me to be able to access all of my cleaning supplies. But with the bathrooms, it's pretty simple. All I really have to do is on Mondays, I do what's called the scrub down. And that's for the most part where I have this really heavy duty, like acid based chemical. And I actually use a sprayer and I spray down all the showers and the tile. You let it sit for 10 to 20 minutes and it will basically clean all the mold and mildew. Uh, but the bathrooms, you know, they're clean daily. So mold and mildew is not even really a problem because on the non scrub down days, I always still will take a little bit of bleach and I will miss the tile. Uh, so it never has a chance to mold or mildew. Uh, but anyway, Monday is kind of the longest day because that's where you have to actually scrub down the tile and then you bring in a hose and then you just rinse down all the showers. And then the rest of the week, you just keep them clean. You keep, keep them wiped down. Uh, you have to you know, keep um, toilet paper stocked, all the paper items, and that's pretty much it. It's very easy. And then once I'm done with the basic cleaning every morning of the bathrooms, then I come in periodically throughout the day and I do random bathroom checks. So for example, I usually try to come around three o'clock and then maybe like around five o'clock and then right when it gets sunset, I'll come in one more time. Okay guys, here's my little hallway supply closet. I'll bring you in here and show you. You can see it goes all the way down. That's the uh, water heater way in the back. And then right here is my little cleaning station. I'm not gonna bore you with everything, but right up here are the sanitary goodie bags. I've got some extra trash, light bulbs. There's the toilet paper. Uh, I've got some hand dispenser soap down here. More trash bags. These are the scouring pads for scrub down day. And then right down here, these are all the heavy duty chemicals and these are like industrial strength chemicals. I like to joke, you actually need a prescription to buy these. Uh, and then right here, this is my dirty rag towel, my clean rags. And then here is for the most part, my daily and uh, Monday scrub down supplies here. I got myself my gloves. Here's my little mop. Here's my uh, cleaning uh, bathroom sign. And then every day I have to sign in what time I arrive. And then down here is like my deodorizer. There's my bleach. I pretty much use that most of the time uh, because there's nothing better than diluted bleach to just disinfect everything. And then, uh, so what I'm basically gonna do today is every day I have to go in and just scrub the toilets, 
uh, I have to shine up the chrome with some Windex and wipe down the mirrors. And then with the bleach, I basically just spray down the showers to disinfect them and keep the tile clean. And then I also wipe down all the toilets and then I check the toilet paper. And then the very last thing I'll do is wipe down the countertops on the sinks. Uh, I will sweep if I need to. I will mop if I need to. And then the last thing I'll do is right here, this is a mango deodorizer, and I will spritz the whole inside of the bathroom with the deodorizer to give it a nice, clean, fresh smell. And that's pretty much it. Okay, so what we're gonna do now, since we're pretty much all done, I'm gonna stop by our house real fast, and we're gonna pick up Ziggy. All right, guys, there's Ziggy. He is taking a lot of bathroom breaks and he's very, very excited because he knows something's going on. But I thought I'd give you guys a quick little walk around here of our campsite. But you can see it's really, really pretty and it's very peaceful. Yeah, are you ready to go for a ride? I know you see your basket right there, don't you? I know it, you sure do. Where's your basket? Where's your basket? Where is it? Where's your basket? Oh, it's right there. Oh, okay, well, thank you. Will you show me again? Where's your basket? Is it there? Where's your basket? Is it up there? Yeah, it's up there. Where is it? Oh, it's on the table, right there? Right up here, here? Okay then, all right. Siggy is so smart. He loves riding in his little basket and he knows. And I'm sure all of you just saw that. He barked in the direction where his little bed uh, that goes in the basket's located. So we're gonna get that right up here in the seat. All right, Siggy, do you think maybe you might be able to get up in the cart yourself today? You've gotten pretty used to riding around in it. Yeah? Are you going to go up in it? Yeah, up there. Go on. You can do it. You can do it. You've jumped higher than that. You can jump. Okay, I guess you're going to want me to put you in. All right. So another thing I keep with me is this little camp host folder. And it has extra maps. Uh, to the trails and it has uh, you know the state park literature and stuff that they hand out to you at the ranger station uh, but I always keep that with me when I'm out driving around because the cool thing is too is that they encourage you to talk with the park guests and to answer questions if they have it and to uh, give them information if they by chance are like hey where are the trails or hey where's uh, the convenience store, blah, blah, blah. So I'm here to help in any way I can, and I love it because I get to meet the people. So I have Ziggy and his little basket right here. I don't know why I keep saying basket. I mean his little doggy bed. Are you ready, Ziggy? Are you ready? <coughs> yeah? Okay, Ziggy is ready to go.
Hey guys, well, we are coming back to our little wonderful campsite tucked away in the middle of the woods. And I hope you guys really enjoyed this video because it was so much fun taking you around today on some of my camp hosting duties and to show you guys what it's like. And until next time, you guys have a glamtastic day and stay tuned. And as always, please make sure that you like and subscribe to our channel. And shameless plug, tell all your friends. We would appreciate it very much. Until next time, guys, have a wonderful day. Leave a comment to say hi. If you like us, please subscribe. And if you don't, our little fluffy dog will attack you.